Hello ladies, this is Carla. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. What I'm going to do is show you some cards that I have made with Anna Griffin's card toppers. I think these were called the holiday card toppers maybe. They are this year's card toppers. And I wanna show you what you can do with those. Okay, so here is the first card topper. And this is the card that I made from it. So as you can see, I have added a shadow layer, some of my little uh, dye embellishments, and just some greenery, and this little embellishment up there, and that has, is all I've added to this card topper. Now, if you didn't wanna do all that, you could easily take any card base that you think would go with your card topper, and just put this on it. Now here it is, if you just use the card topper, it's still a very pretty card. Anyone would be so satisfied to see this beautiful Christmas card. And if you wanted to, you could just take, this is like probably a three by five piece of uh, card stock. You can get something that kind of goes with what you're doing. You could just add that behind and you could pop it up with little foam squares if you wanted to, and that would add a little bit of color to that. And it wouldn't have to be, you know, Anna Griffin paper. If you have a paper you think goes with that, that would look gorgeous. So there's a simple way to make a card. All right, so let's do some more. Okay. This one back. This is the card topper. It says, tis the season. Now, as you see, they do have a sentiment on here, but you don't have to use that if you have some of her other sentiments that would fit on the top. So here's the card topper, and here's the card that I've created from that card topper. Now, what I did was I took a shadow layer die and then the die on top, I did like a gold and red designed shadow layer with a gold die overlay. And I put this card topper on top of that. And then I had a die that had the center cut out. So this is kind of an oval. I thought, ooh, that would be pretty. And so I took the oval and layered it on top of this. And I decided I didn't want to use that sentiment, so I took this one out of my stash and I layered it on top. Out of her embellishments that I have, I used some roses, since this is kind of a rose theme. And I also use these little flourishes that come in a lot of her uh, embellishments. Now, I think that's adorable, but if you just had that, you could take this and if you had a red card base, you could put that on there. Or if you had, hmm, let's see what we've got over here. I've cut out a bunch of stuff, not for this, but you know, sometimes you cut things out and you think, ooh, that's not really what I want. Okay, I was looking for a gold. I may not have a gold cut out. Here's one, I don't know. But if you had like some gold behind it, if you didn't have a die, you could just lay that on top and that gives that a little more dimension. You can barely see it back there. Now, and on this one also, some of them have, well, all of them pretty much, have a little ribbon on them right here. If I don't wanna use that, I just take that off. It's taped on the back, as you can see, and I just pulled that off. And I didn't want that ribbon on there, so I just pulled it off. But as you can see, again, that makes a very pretty card, and when you add to it, it just steps it up a notch. Okay, so there's that one. And this one says, Merry Christmas. I left it the sentiment in place. I did remove the bow, and I also cut off uh, this kind of faux ribbon look on the top. And this is what I did with this one. I used kind of a gold snowflake background. I used my bell die from Anna Griffin. I used the silver shadow layer, a gold overlay, and these little bells also come with it. And I think that makes it perfect. It's more simple, but it's 
a beautiful card. So you could take this, you could put this on, you know, a green background. Again, you could add a card or something underneath. I don't have any variety of cards, but you know, I've, I've shown you some of that before. This one, I don't think it might work. I don't know if we just laid that on there. Oh yeah, see? That makes it pretty, gives it an extra border to kind of pop that out. You could pop that up with phone squares and that would be really, really pretty. So there's another way. Now this next one, I just love her collection of poinsettias. So this one, this one did not have a bow. So I didn't have to remove that one. <laughs> and it says Merry Christmas and I did leave the Merry Christmas sentiment, but this is the way this one came out. With the Merry Christmas sentiment, I had this uh, wreath die from Anna. So I cut that out and I laid it whoops, on top of this. And then I had some of her wreath sentiments and it fit just perfect. So I took this wreath and I laid that on top. Then out of her package of uh, poinsettia embellishments, I found a larger one and I put that one down there. And then in her embellishments also are these little gold kind of pine sprigs. So I put some of that there. Now these are from her uh, corner dies. Let me show you those. to get these out of my binder to show you. Okay, they come like this. You could use them as a design, just like they come, or she designed them so you can die cut this and you cut them apart to make corner uh, embellishments. So on this one, I use this die here and I cut them apart and it's kind of a bronzy color at the top and I put those in the corner and I added another piece of paper here to my card base. And I think that made a pretty card. So again, here's your card topper and then here's the card. On this way, this is Santa. I love this. Look at the detail, the old fashioned vintage Santa. So for this one, I took the bow off and I cut around. I didn't want this trim on there, this border trim. So I ended up with just the Santa picture. I took a card base and I used uh, one of Anna Griffin's dies and I didn't use the shadow layer. I just wanted uh, the um, design from the die itself to pull through and I wanted the back to be red like that. So here is my Santa card, and I had some of these in my stash, so this is my sentiment. Best wishes for a happy Christmas. And then in her uh, embellishments that I have, I had this bell, I think it's Darling. I think that came in one of her embellishment sets this year. And then this is the uh, holly, and it's got even the gold. I think I added the gold holly sprig behind it. So I think that one turned out pretty. Again, that's what you started with, and this is what you could do with it. This one is pretty simple. It's got these beautiful little birds on there and kind of a wintry scene. And what I did with this one is, on the card base, I use, it was green and red. And again, I used a die, but I did not use the shadow layer. I added a piece of, well, it was a card actually that came in one of her sets or kits, I can't remember. And then I added these trees behind it. Well, actually we have the card. <laughs> and then I added this little embellishment that came in something, but you could cut that out if you had a die easily. And then these trees are hooked together. They came in one of her 
embellishment sets and I puffed those up pretty pretty good on foam squares then I added this little gold tree there I kept the sentiment I didn't have to put another one on there so I turned this into this now the next one is this let's see what I did to this one okay I removed the ribbon this is so pretty it was hard to cut it off but for what I was making I didn't think that really called for that so I cut the border off again and uh, it says Christmas greetings but we're gonna cover that up so I took I got some of her new matte foil this year and I used uh, this is the concertina die and I've got green for the shadow layer. I've got gold for the dye. And then I use the, um, the one that's shaped like this. But I also used, let me see if I can find it here. This dye, the more ornate dye to go on top, except I used kind of that pinky rose for the bottom and the gold on top. And then I used this after I had removed the bow and cut off the um, border. And I popped that up, you can see, pretty good on, I think there's two under there, foam squares. Then I added a poinsettia. And then from my um, holiday impression dies, I think the, the woodland ones, these I cut out this little gold sprig and added that to the top and then the poinsettia again I used her corner dies to kind of add a little pop to the corners of the card and on this this came with the concertina die and I cut off I uh, cut the shadow layer with gold this the uh, kind of pinky rose and then this little gold oval oval and then this, I just love, love, love these. I have to tell you, I love, love, love these. This is a box of her mini holiday sentiment stickers that she made this year. And they've got Christmas, they've got Thanksgiving, graduation, Father's Day, Mother's Day, all kinds of holiday little sentiments. So I used one of those stickers and added it to this. And I had to add three little foam squares over here because I didn't want that flopping or to get hung on something and pull. And then this is an embellishment that I had, the little gold leaves. And so we turned this into this. Now for the last one, this one says merry and bright for the sentiment. And I just love these little roses and berries and little pine sprigs. Now, I left this one as is. It didn't have a ribbon, or I probably would have taken the ribbon off. But anyway, this one, we kept the sentiment and everything. And this one is really pretty simple. The card base, I liked it. I like the design on it. And I used her red matte foil. I had a die of hers that was Christmas bells. And so I used that on top of this. I didn't want to cover this up. I like the white kind of popping through. And then I added this on top. And I had some wreaths. She made a wreath package one year. And so I just centered that over the Merry Christmas. So it's kind of got some, you know, a little bit of a concave indentation there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I pulled the roses, since it had roses, out of my embellishments. Got little pine sprigs, so it does look wintry. And up here, I've got the holly, which had the pine sprigs attached. And then I used these two little embellishments that they came in the concertina die. And I, as I've said in the past, these are my three go-to little dies. I mean, you can use this little embellishment so many ways. And it even has like a side or a topper for it, but I use those a lot. So anyway, I turned this into 
after this. So I just wanted to show you and share with you some ways that you can use those card toppers. I mean, if you put that just on the card base, as I said, it's beautiful just the way it is. Now here are some, I mean, you get so many. That was only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was only eight. And I still have all of these that I haven't used. And there are two each of these. And they're beautiful, too. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope it gave you maybe some ideas if you purchased some card toppers. And I hope you will tune in again because the next card I'm going to make is going to be just for my own imagination <laughs> with my, all my dyes and all of my embellishments that I have collected over the years that I've been ordering Anna Griffin. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. And um, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please hit that little subscribe button. And if you like the video, please hit the like. So until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.